So I've had the Indian FTR 1200 for a few weeks now, and the plan is to make a series of videos as the different parts and pieces come in as this build as I continue my riding adventure. But I took it up to Northern California for 4th of July weekend to get some good riding along up here. And there's a lot of motorcycles on the street. And I pulled over at uh, Fill Up With Gas and I spoke to a gentleman who had told me that he has one on order and he's gonna pick it up this Thursday. He had then asked me a question about the exhaust pipe if I had removed the baffles. I had told him that I have a SC project exhaust pipe in the works that I've been working with the motivation guys on and uh, pretty excited to get that going, but it's gonna be a few weeks from now. And he had told me that some ultra super master web forum tech had said that you can take a slide hammer to the exhaust baffles, leave them them on and literally pound them out backwards and that's one of the most ignorant things I've probably ever heard as far as general bike mechanics go so I went home after the ride was done and I just took two minutes to look at the exhaust pipe quick and realize it's literally a 10 minute job so I just figured I'd toss my iPhone to my nephew not worry about the wind noise or what we're working with and just kind of show you guys a quick removal of the baffles a uh, little disclaimer this does make it a closed course only exhaust pipe Take that with a grain of salt as you will, but uh, it's a quick solution to buy me two weeks of time until I get the beautiful SC Project exhaust system in. So um, I'm just gonna start from the shop top and show you how I got to the solution that I got and just do a quick how-to as I go along the way. All right, so you're gonna need a center punch, Sharpie, drill, pilot hole drill bit, 12 millimeter hole drill bit, I'm assuming the Allen holding it in inside is a four. We'll see once I get that opened up. Some blue painter's tape, and if we decide that we're gonna need to pull the exhaust to pop the baffle out, I got the 13, the T50 Torix, and the spring puller. If not, I got my favorite Nipex pliers, and I'm just gonna pull it right out the end cap. So on most exhaust pipe baffles, when there is the option to remove them, you have a little grommet on the bottom, and you pull that out, and usually you're able to stick an Allen inside, remove the Allen, pull the baffle out the back, but these were obviously designed to not do that, I'm sure for some type of Euro emission. It originally it looked like there possibly was three pieces of hardware that you'd have to drill the rivets out to remove or get aggressive with grinding, but I just took a piece of safety wire and put it down each side and realized that both the baffle, the top and the bottom, there's a bolt head here. And as I looked inside, it's hard to make it out exactly what it is, but it looks to either be a little four mil Allen or a Torx. So basically what we're gonna do is drill a hole here and drill a hole here. Small clean vanity hole, the same size as these little grommet holes right there. And uh, hopefully can order up these new caps here, but either way, I don't think it's gonna look bad at all if I do a nice clean drill job. And hopefully this will be just a quick 10 minute deal. So it depends on how Santa you wanna go with this job, but I at least wanted to figure out where I was off center. So I measured about 18 millimeters from the edge to the center of where the original plug was. So I'm gonna do the same to here and make my center mark just so I know I'm in the ballpark on each side. So you can use a traditional punch, but these are just quick and dirty. It's an auto center punch. Line up the holes that you marked off previously. Hit it again. Okay. Now I'm just starting with a two millimeter pilot hole. You can choose kind of what size you like on this, but I have good luck with this size, give or take. And this might be a little over the top for some, but what I'm doing is I'm making a tape barrier so that if the bit picks up any shards, that it does not start spinning around and create score marks in the pipe. It can be quick and dirty. Now I'm eventually gonna end up at a 12 millimeter hole, but I'm just going one step up in between to make sure that I'm gonna be on center for the interior hardware. And both pilot holes lined up to the 
interior hardware. So that means that I can run it home with the big bit. Can't go back now. This little 12 volt drill ain't having it. I don't have a deburring tool in my shop box, in the van, I should say, but I do when I get back to the shop, so I'll go from there. But from this point, yep, I can conclude it is a four mil Allen. And just like that, pop it right off. Let's see, there we go. That's the culprit right there. One more to go. This one didn't even have to break loose. This one just almost came out on its own. This one fell in, but good thing with this pipe, I'll just get it with a claw here shortly. So this one pretty much worked its way out just by pulling it. This one, before getting too rowdy, I'm struggling to get it out. I'm gonna give it a couple more pulls and if I can't get it out, I'm just gonna take off the exhaust and knock it from the back. So I'll let, I'll let you see me struggle for a moment. I'm about at the point where I think I'm just gonna pop it off. For reference, this is a T40 on the inside here. And All right, and then the Motion Pro spring puller, easy peasy, off like that. Just give a little twist. Aluminum dowel, you can use wood or whatever's fancy. I just keep this in the van for situations when I need to pound through. Just like that, easy peasy. Oh, gone forever. Pretty simple from there. Maybe this is a good opportunity. Wipe the top side up. Slip this pipe on. Exhaust spring back on. T40 Torix hardware back on. Just got to align everything. Torque it to good and tight. And what I'll do on this, since I wasn't able to deburr these, I'm gonna toss the grommet back in these until I get back to the shop and I'm not working out of the van box. i leave this one open. And uh, I think I got some SC Project ones in the shop I can put in when I get home and this will tie me over until I get the SC1 tie carbon system on this thing. I would keep an eye out for that because it's for sure gonna be the sexiest pipe you can get your hands on for this thing. Just like that, these are out. Wipe down the prettiness. This is what those baffles look like. They're actually not all that restrictive, but overall I think we're about to see a big, big change. I guess overall that job took 18 minutes. I'd call that probably a three out of 10 on the difficulty scale, need pretty rudimentary tools to get it done. It honestly didn't get all that much louder, but there's at least a little bit of throat at the bottom because it was quite quiet stock. And uh, 
yeah, easy peasy. Hopefully this will guide you in the right direction to get this done. Like I said, super excited for the new SE Project full system coming out for this thing. Tide Carbon is just absolutely beautiful, but uh, this will time me over for the next couple weeks. Peace out, Garage 93.